All right, thank you so much, Ashley. Well, higher education, workforce readiness, and economic developments, those were just a few of the talking points today at Pickens County Community College and Career Luncheon. And Grace Brister was there and learned how a nonprofit is working to support students across the county, and she joins us in the studio with more. Grace. The Pickens County College and Career Center Foundation aims to raise money for scholarships for high school students and post-secondary education in business and industry. I spoke with some professionals within education about their efforts to help guide students toward meaningful careers. Helping students face the challenges of continuing their education and joining the workforce. These are two of the aims of the Pickens County College and Career Center Foundation. Kim Dyer is the president of the nonprofit organization. Nowadays, kids need more of a focus. Uh, home lives are different now. Uh, the expense of college has greatly increased over the years. Our sole job is to scholarship children so that they can take advantage of the dual enrollment courses once they've chosen a career pathway. The Career Center allows students to learn skills in a variety of different fields, including health care, industrial maintenance, agri-science, and more. The scholarships allow students to earn dual enrollment and leave high school with an associate's degree, certificates, and experience in the field of their choice. Rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors can apply for scholarships to the center. They have the ability to be successful. They may not have the financial resources. Jamie Chapman is the superintendent of education for Pickens County. Most of the families in Pickens County usually drive out every morning to work over in Tuscaloosa or they go to Columbus, Mississippi. There's an expected shortage in the West Alabama area in 2026, 20, I believe, of like a, a, a workforce shortage of over 150,000 people. This just gives our kids an extra opportunity. Principal Sean McDaniel says having these opportunities allows for growth in the county by having students gain experience, work close to home, and contribute back to the community. I think it's important that these children are developed with a skill set trade um, and then they're able to go out, um, learn how a business and industries operate, and then be able to come back to Pickens County um, and live and bring rooftops back, which then provides more people people, which provides more skilled workforce uh, in Pickens County to create a labor force for jo jobs and companies to want to come to a rural community. The program says the goal is for all the students that apply to receive scholarships, and the foundation was able to award $56,000 worth to students. We say around here that we want our kids to have more opportunities this year than they had last year. And this thing has grown, and that's what's happening for our students, and they're taking advantage of it. The recipients of the 2024-2025 scholarships will be awarded in August.